So it is that most wonderful time of the year. Christmas time, love it. I'm one of those guys that just absolutely adores this time of year. Today's video, I have put together a gift guide for those toy photographers in your life, or maybe you're just like me, you're a toy photographer yourself, and you see one of these videos and you're like, you know what? I've been good this year. I'm gonna treat myself to some new bits and bobs. So today I've put together about 13 items that I think will be really cool gifts uh, for the toy photographers in your life or yourself, as I had just mentioned. Uh, now, all the links to these, I'm not sponsored by any of the guys or the products, uh, anything here. These are just products that I, I've used myself. Uh, I, I love them, so I thought I would share them with you. Links to them all will all be in the description below. Majority of them are gonna be Amazon links as well. So if you do click through those links, a small commission will come back to me. Uh, so if you do purchase anything through those links, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate that um, greatly. So let's get into today's gift guide and see what we have in store. Hmm. <sighs> Lighting. Lighting is so, so super important. Uh, and I have a few lights on today's list, starting with the Aperture MC light. This is definitely my favorite of the bunch. It's a nice little light LED panel. What you can do is you can, you can adjust the brightness on here. You can adjust your color temperature and whatnot. It also has RGB functionality, so you can get any color that you want. Very first versatile, a little piece of kit and a fantastic light. Now it, it comes with magnets on the back so you can magnetically place this on metal surfaces you can put this on a tripod and whatnot uh, and it's just a really fantastic easy to carry a little thing for the toy photographers that obviously like to go out and about talking about going out and about it also comes with this handy little pouch as well and we have a few accessories such as my personal favorite the diffuser absolute game changer there uh, and i love the pouch on this it's just really like if, if something comes with a good pouch or whatnot i just absolutely Yes, I love I love the little storagey thing. So uh, yes, the Aperture MC Light, an absolute must uh, if you're going for lighting. Now there is a cheaper option, uh, which is the Wii Light version. Now it's slightly bigger than the uh, the um, the Aperture MC. Does just as good a job, and it does all of the things uh, that the Aperture MC Light does as well. Now this one is. Perfect, I started with this one and I, I, I used it through the very vast majority of my shots this year until I upgraded to this one. Uh, nothing wrong with it, it doesn't come with a diffusion. That's one of the things that I found was a downside to this. Sometimes it was a little harsh so I had to defuse it myself. But overall, a really, really great light and it is about, it's, it's probably half the price of the Aperture MC. So if you wanna go, for one of these, then budget option is obviously the, the Wii Lite version. However, if you wanna go for the better of the two, personally, in my opinion, it's gonna be the Aperture MC. Now, one of the most popular lights is Loom Cube. These are basically like little cubes. <laughs> Little cubes like this, we can turn these on and off. Good little brightness to it. I have now officially blinded you guys, I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, these are perfect. What I like about them is how small they are. They've got this little slim, small profile. You can put them in the most craziest of places and you can get some really great effects with this. Now, the one that I have linked below is a kit. It comes in this fancy little box here and it comes with loads of really cool accessories that are gonna enhance the, uh, the use of this little light. That's what I love about it, the accessories. It comes with diffusion, it comes with uh, snoots, comes with little barn doors. We've got some um, gels as well, so you can change the color of these lights. They're perfect little things, uh, and I absolutely adore these. I actually got these for Christmas last year myself, um, and I've just, pff, I've abused, used and abused these, but got some really great photos out of them. Now, they, I believe, were the most expensive item on this list and of course just to help you out there I do have a budget friendly option as well now I haven't got these lights myself but I know they've become very popular within the toy photography scene and community these are the Ulanzi lights they're basically still small cubes uh, again um, I don't think they come with all the accessories and whatnot like the loom cube one does but I know that some of them have the RGB capability so you can change the colors of them uh, on there so it's, they're basically like you know these light panels that we just talked about but in the smaller cube form so that's another option that's worth checking out 
but they are the four lights that I would recommend if you want to treat your toy photographer this year. Next up, let's talk tripod stability. Sta stability is the word I'm looking for. So we're talking tripods. Bigger tripods, I I've not put on the list. I've basically put a couple of smaller options, starting with the Joby Gorilla Pod. This is, without a doubt, one of the best little things in terms of like tripods, like especially if they're one of these that like taking photos outdoors and whatnot, but it's just such a versatile little tripod that you can just wrap around things and manipulate your angles on the spot and they're very sturdy as well so they won't move this one comes with the like little ball head as well so you can move it around a bit stiff <laughs> i've used this one to death uh, and you can get those vertical shots as well by going down like that really great option this is probably my favorite tripod if i'm taking photos out and about and again it's not too big either so this will be able to slip straight in their camera bag or whatever bag they've got when they're taking uh, the photos out and about or just in the garden but yeah great great tripod strongly recommend this one another great tripod we've got is from manfrotto so it's this little small thing over here basically got three little legs that will extend and it has that ball head capability there as well you press this button and you can move it around. Now, the one that I have linked in the description below is slightly different to this one, but it is the better version. I haven't got the better version because I went with the Joby Gorillapod as my my upgrade. So the one that I've linked in the description below, it will allow you to move this ball head so you can get those vertical shots uh, for Instagram or whatnot. Those ver vertical, vertical, yes, vertical, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, a, 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 the way to go. It takes up more real estate and whatnot. Uh, this tripod unfortunately won't allow you to do that however it's still a great little thing um so i've linked the better one down below it's still roughly around about the same price which is great uh however if they do want to go for this one we can use it for you know our lights and whatnot so screw that on there and then uh yeah light so you can also use it for that the ball head makes it perfect for getting those angles and whatnot so yeah good little thing manfrotto fantastic company as well so if they're looking for a bigger tripod than these smaller portable ones they've got plenty of options on there uh, a well trusted brand and one that i strongly recommend so that's it for the tripods all right let's move on to practicals these are fun these enhance the toy photography uh, experience uh, and make your photos look really great so uh, for those of you not in the know if you're buying for your toy photography friends this one's going to seem like really strange however the first item on the list is a drain blaster gun yes yeah, so it's like why would i buy why would i buy my friend my significant other my brother my sister mother father a drain blaster. Well, basically what you do with this is you pump this bad boy up and it shoots out pressurized air. The idea here is for when you're taking photos outside and whatnot is you'll grab a pile of dust, charge this bad boy up, blow that up, fast shutter speed, it's gonna catch the really actiony shots a few just like these ones over here you can also do it with water as well to get these really cool splashing effects but it's such a cool little item i know there's a different couple of different variations of this one this is the one that i've got and i i absolutely love it but basically you just kind of pump pump this bad boy up get that pressure good oh hello go to go in and then you explode it. It's, it's, it's great. <laughs> Second practical item is a trusty can of atmosphere aerosol. This is absolutely great. It's basically like canned smoke, canned like atmosphere, so to speak. You can create some really epic, moody, dramatic scenes, uh, and it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. You basically shake that up, spray it around a little bit and it kind of creates some fog and atmosphere. Combine this with good lighting and you'll get some really great effects. Uh, but atmosphere aerosol, definitely a gift that any toy photographer will be more than happy to receive under the tree this year. Right, next up we're gonna look at a couple of um, accessories. One of my most favorite accessories ever is a reflector. So like I was saying, this kind of ties in with lighting. This one is by uh, Andua. Andua, I believe. It's basically a five in one. Uh, reflector comes in this cool little pouch. If we take this out, it's all folded up and we'll uh, extend this. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna reflect light. So let's have a look. Can I reflect 
the light on me. Can you see how that's making me a little bit brighter over there? Obviously, this is great for outside photography because you can just redirect the sun back to uh, the subjects that you're shooting, or you can use it inside like, like this. It does come, uh, it's a five in one. So we've obviously got the silver side here for reflecting. We've got a black side over here, which you will use to kind of like take out light. And we've got a zip somewhere along here, but he says, uh, if you zip this, we've got, yeah, he says, diff, like a, a white side for diffusion, and you've got this kind of gold, gold light over here uh, to make light warmer. You've got the diffuser there, and you've got another white on the reverse of the silver as a, another way of reflecting light without it being as harsh as, as the silver, I guess. But great, fantastic item. And I believe this one's relatively cheap as well. I think in, in British, uh, I, this one's around about 10.99, but uh, absolutely fantastic. It says, absolutely fantastic item uh, and, and a must need for any toy photographer out there. Other accessories uh, is gonna be a remote shutter. So one of these little beasts over here, basically you plug this into your camera with yay end, other end, you press the button and it will take the shot. What this is super handy for is obviously if you've set your camera up and you don't wanna, you don't wanna move it, you don't wanna shake it at all, this is connected in here and you can bang, bang away. Obviously if you've got like the dirt gun as well, you can, plug this in, go over to your subject, blow stuff up and hit this at the same time so you're not having to like stretch with multiple arms and whatnot. Really relatively small one. This one is for uh, Canon. That's the one I've linked in the description below. So make sure you uh, find out what camera it is or camera brand that your toy photographer is shooting on and get the, get the right one for them. But the one I've linked below is for Canon, which is what I use. Right, final accessory is uh, more of a stocking filler, I guess, than anything else. Uh, but it's actually a little camera camera brush. So you'll use this to remove dirt from your lens and whatnot, but you can also use these to clean your toys, uh, figures and whatnot when they get dust on them. This is my favorite tool for removing dust. Now the one I've linked in the description below is different. Uh, it's a slightly bigger one, which I thought was a lot better. This is basically the, the only one I could find. I can't, I've, I've misplaced my other ones, but this one, it's basically the same concept, or you can get them some like makeup brushes and whatnot, uh, exactly the same thing, but these are perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's one of those things that they'll probably like, oh, I don't wanna buy that, but I need them. It's one of those, I don't wanna spend money on this, but I need it. So get them a couple of these brushes. Uh, they will be very, very happy with them. And this one's nice and compact, but like I say, the bigger one is better because you can get more purchase on that, so. There is that. Right then, final category comes to dioramas. This is basically setting up the scene um, for where they are gonna be shooting their toys or figures. The first thing that I have is a photography, a little photo studio. Um, this is perfect. It basically sets itself up in a little square. It's got loads of different kind of backdrops and whatnot. I tend to use the black one majority of the time. You can use the white one. You've got red, green, blue, yellow. Great little kit. Sets up nice and easy. It's also got a USB connector on it. This thing's got a couple of lights. So you plug that in and it will light up the scene as well. Really cool little, like little thing, little studio. It's easy to set up, easy to pack away and you can get some really great shots out of it, especially if they're taking like portraits and whatnot. And uh, this one comes in relatively cheap, around about 11.99, so can't complain with that. Nice little easy gift. Well, <laughs> couldn't recommend this one enough. Right, final, final thing is, uh, Basically a couple of diorama pieces. Um, these these are random and you just, like I've linked a couple of things down below, but obviously like look around. But first of all is like this fake grass. Uh, this makes really cool fake grass, so to speak. Uh, so obviously like you set your toys up and whatnot on there, uh, absolutely perfect. And you can put some like little pieces and bits and bobs. I've got like, uh, I've got, loads of little things. I've got like a bag full of like little logs which you can use for more like foresty thing. We've got some kind of moss. Uh, I've got some more kind of dirt colored stuff. Um, this 
seaweed-esque thing or um, actual proper looking moss. Uh, like I said, like to be fair, these I picked up from like a garden center because it's Christmas time and they've obviously got the model village set stuff out. So if you're in a, a garden center or anything like that, look for the model village stuff and you can get loads of cool stuff like this. Uh, it seems random, but as a toy photographer that, you know, builds their own sets to make you know them seem more lifelike that will be very much appreciated and there we go that was my toy photography gift guide i hope you got some really great ideas out of the products that i showcased to you today like i said i am not sponsored by any of these guys these are items that i have bought with my own money uh that i or, or gift from last year uh, and that i've thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed using in my own toy photography like i said links to everything will be in the video description below they are amazon uh, associate or affiliate links so if you do purchase through those links a small kickback will come back to me so uh, thank you so much if you do do that anyway uh, but that is it hope you did enjoy this hope it gave you um the the ideas you needed uh, but uh that, that that is it for me have a wonderful 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 christmas or um rest of the year depending on when you when it is you watch this video but thank you so much uh i'll see you very soon till then take care don't forget to hit the like button hit the subscribe button it really helped me out uh, and i'll see you soon take care Bye bye